How was all my crispy bacon down there, guys? Is your boy crispy, crisp guys? And thank you guys so much for coming back to another Call of Duty video, guys. And I know I was talking about doing a lot more of these as of recently, guys. And I've been going over and thinking what type of video should I do now that Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has really settled down. And I've been thinking and really contemplating on what type of videos I should do. So I decided I'd start going back to my original days where I made some best class setups for you guys. Even after all the updates and buffs, these are going to be the best class setups for you guys if you guys are running it. So I'm going to throw up this weapon right now. It's actually the VMP that we are going over today. So guys, make sure to leave a like for this, but I'm going to be writing down what I'm using and why I'm using it. So guys, here is the screenshot of my class setup right here. So now guys, first off, you guys already know, you have to at least acquire and unlock the VMP because that is the weapon that we are going over and this is going to be your best setup for this weapon in order to get all those kills that you guys are trying to go for. So guys, I usually don't use any optics for this and if I did, I'd be running red dot. But for this class setup, I'm not using anything. I'm using two, well, three attachments. The first one is going to be grip. The second one is going to be long barrel, and the third one is going to be quick draw. All of these combined together, honestly, yeah, on any submachine gun, are going to be godlike. Just because with the quick draw, you're going to be aiming down sight a lot faster. The long barrel is going to give you that extension of range compared to a lot of different things. Even though it's going to add on a lot more sway and a lot more recoil on the weapon, it'll allow for you guys to actually get more kills at farther distances. And the, that is where the grip comes in. The grip, I really wasn't running at first. And then all of a sudden, I was thinking, why is my gun swaying so much just with the quick draw and the long barrel? And I was thinking and thinking about how I could adjust that and kind of get used to it more. And I threw on the grip, and oh my god, it was so godlike. I couldn't even believe how amazing the weapon is now. The sway on it is still there, but at first, it's not actually activated. It kind of takes a while for it to kick in, and then usually by that time, you already have slayed out the guy or whatever. So, guys... Those are all the attachments. Now we're going to hit the perks because I'm not running any secondaries or no lethals or tacticals. So guys, the first one in the first uh, perk is going to be Afterburn. Afterburn is going to make you guys uh, run a lot faster, get around the map a lot quicker, and also get up in the enemy's face. So that's awesome. That's something that's really going to be useful. And then again, we're going to be using six cents just because... We will be trying to get into the enemy spawn. We're going to try and get behind them and actually be able to know where they're at. It's going to be very convenient for all of us. Not even just me, but also for team communication and things like that. Next, guys, I'm running anti up in the perk 2 tier. Basically, I'm just running anti up just because I don't really run a secondary usually. And it also helps me get to my streaks a lot quicker by giving me a little start off bonus. So it's not like I'm having to dread myself. Instead of having to go for 10 kills, for a VSAT, I can go for 9, so that's awesome, and that's always something that you can always change out. And then for the third one, as I was saying earlier, is that we are trying to stay off the minimap, so, or being able to indicate where the enemies are, so I decided to throw on Blast Suppress, which is going to really allow for you guys to hide from the enemies. Also, Dead Silence can be also used for this. If you guys aren't really boosting around much in the enemy spawn, that's going to be very useful, but guys... Hopefully this class setup is for you guys because I'm a huge fan of this weapon. Not only is it a really overpowered weapon, but it is a very godlike weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I know a lot of people are trying to get out there and trying to get on the competitive scene. And this is probably honestly the best setup for competitive Call of Duty for a VMP or any SMG setup. Especially when you're using these attachments and these perks. So make sure to leave a like guys. And I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Josh. Me and him have been talking a lot. And also my boy Moran or Nick. He's also the man guys. Thank you so much for liking and commenting on all my videos. You guys mean the world to me. And as always guys, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Variations such as the AK-47, the AK-47U, the AK-74. There's so.